Hello, this is Ashley from Crafting with Ashley, and welcome to this video. This is the card we're making today. It's this cute little sheep jumping over the moon <laughs> to bring you a merry or well, happy birthday. So, let's get started. Let's put this aside somewhere safe, that'll do. The steps that I'm going to be using, the first one is this one called Counting Sheep. Now, we're in celebration at the moment, and in celebration for every £45 you spend, you can earn a free item. And this is one of the free items, the Sheep Stamp. Um, it has a matching set of dies that we're going to be using as well, so you can earn both. So, let's put those aside. And then the birthday is going to come from this party puffins happy birthday so i've got everything set up on my stamparatus so we can just stamp in one go and i'm going to stamp everything in memento so let's give everything a really good ink up so we don't miss any bits even if we do it's not the end of the world because we're using the stamparatus and then give it a really good press down <coughs> Obviously didn't press down very well there. And I'm gonna just re-ink it a second time so we get a really nice crisp image. Okay, there we go. Lovely. So as I said, these sheep get cut out with these matching dies here so I'm going to do that and I'll be back okay so all my little sheep are cut out I also just cut out our sentiment using my trimmer so now that my sheep are cut out I just want to give them a little bit of colour and I'm going to use the colour lifter and the light smoky slate to do this and I'm just going to add as you're going to see just, just a little bit of colour to various places just a tiny bit just to give some colour, otherwise it looks a bit weird if they totally snow white because sheep are never snow white unless they've just been in the rain for a long time. <laughs> if you go past the sheep in the field they've always got, um, you know, the coats are usually quite, you know, they're white, but they're not totally white. There is dirt there and, you know, it's not snow white at all. It wouldn't be if they, when they've been rolling around in the field all day, it just couldn't be snow white. Okay. We're going to blend all of this out as well, so don't worry that this might look a bit weirder. It might do now. This is just my method. You'll find your own. And I'm just using, as I said, the stamp and blend alcohol markers. So now I'm just going to blend everything out so there's not these harsh lines so much and this is when I'm just using the blender to lift colour and move it because the blender pen this blender pen more than actually lifting colour it just moves it which is exactly what I want So there's, you can see it's blended in a bit better. Okay, so let's carry on and do our other sheepies. Now, I'm a Londoner born and bred, definitely. Um, and I moved to where I live now in Lincoln in 2016, and one of the reasons I like to move is that if you are born in London, or London at all, you'll know that it's a devil to leave London. Um, if you want to go out, you can spend more time trying to get in and out of London than anything else, you know? Um, because of the traffic, and because it's such a big place, you know? 
it's not so bad going out. I lived in West London, so it wasn't so bad going out to the Surrey side. But going out to Kent, I'm trying to get up to Hertfordshire. It was just always a pain in the neck, and you never really could get out into the countryside that easily, especially for me as we didn't have a car. So that's one of the reasons I liked moving out to Lincoln is now I have a car and I can go out to the countryside and see like all the little sheep. All the little sheep and I love it. Okay, so there are all our sheep blended. And as you can see, it just blended in the face, just giving a little bit of colour like that. So let's put all that aside for now. I'm actually just going to push it right off my mat. Because we're going to be doing some blending. Now I have a, here, a piece here of basic white. And I've got a piece here that I've cut out from the layered circles framelits. And this is masking paper. You can get this anywhere online. Um, you can also buy um, use a post-it note as well. That will do the job just as well. And I'm just going to mask where I want my moon to be. And this will leave the moon nice and white while I ink around the rest of the area. So I'm just making sure it's nicely down, which it is. And now we're going to do some blending. I'm going to start off with Pacific Point. I'm going to be using my wonderful blending tools. Now my Pacific Point is quite juicy, so I'm going to take off a lot of the ink before I come onto the page. As you can see, it's really juicy ink pad. So you cover that whole page. And I'm just going in circular motions. Not looking for the perfect blend to be honest because it's a night sky. The night sky will always have, you know, different variations of colour. It's never going to be one perfect colour. It's not the way it works. So I think that's enough for down here. I can come back if I feel I need more Pacific Point. I'm going to go in now with my Knight of Navy. And again, same thing, we're just going to start building up the colour. And this does take time, so I'm going to continue to do this and um, I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I finished blending it. it. Took a while, especially as my arm gets a bit sore to be honest I'm doing it. I could have gone darker, but I'm happy with that for now. Now we're just going to remove our masking where our moon should be. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I love that moment. And you can save this so you've still got our backing here. So don't chuck this away. You can just put it back on this backing. And there you go. And I put this just back in the stamp set. And the mask is there, good to go for next time. So what do you think? I don't think it looks too bad, not to be sniffed at. Now, I've got so much ink on this piece of paper that just to be on the safe side, I've folded it in half so I can use the other side. Now, I could have done just, and the reason I fold it in half is I've got glue on the other half of the grid paper as well. So I don't want glue on the back of my, on my card. So this is the only area that's still usable. So that was a bit amusing for now. And then I'll sort it all out once I've made the card. Okay, so there, I've just put it on a basic white, thick basic white um, card base. So that's a standard A6 card base. It's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. And then now let's see about arranging our pieces. This one here. And then this little fella here maybe. And then I've got this one jumping over the moon here. Yeah, that looks good enough to me. So let's start gluing down. 
and I'm just going to use some Tombow this time because I can get it all the little places except it's all gunked up and that's all on my fingers lovely try and get rid of most of it and then we'll start again you can see I've used just a piece of scrap here for the sentiment just like that and then this little sheepy here my mother was actually born on a farm back in South Africa and she always loved as a child to feed what they were called the hunts lambs which is the orphaned lambs for some reason their mothers didn't want them or their mothers died um, before the lads were grown up and so you had to feed them bottle feed them and granny would in those days you still had um you still had you still got diet coke bottles you know the smaller ones that were glass it was glass always it wasn't plastic and she used to empty those out sterilize them and then um she used to put a teat on them and put the sheep put the milk in there and that's what they used to feed the sheep, to feed the lambs, the Hans lambs. So cute. And such a good way to recycle and reuse rather than today's tendency just to always buy new everything. There we go. Put that there. Get rid of those backings. So that's all we have so far. And then I've just got some here of these champagne rhinestones. I'm nearly finished this sheet. You can see I like them. And I'm just going to dot these through the sky and to my mind they would look like twinkling little lights. Twinkling stars in the night sky. So Let's see how many have I got. One, two, three, four. We need another one. Five. Where shall we put it? Um, somewhere here, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so there you go. There are my two little cards. What do you think? I hope you liked them. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And please do consider subscribing to future videos. I'd be so grateful. If you have any questions, then just put a comment in the in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you want more information about this card, supply list, measurements, etc. It's all on the blog post on my website. And the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below. So thank you again. And until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye-bye.